All right, hello, welcome. Hello, Dan, welcome. And welcome to our guests. So today, um, I'm Nora Bloom, I'm with Travel Leaders, and we're gonna talk about what's new for travel in Europe for 2022. And I've got a great partner here. Dan Peeler is gonna talk to us a little bit about Europe. And if you do have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I'll help moderate those. Um, but thank you all for coming. And I'm gonna turn it over to Dan to get started. All right, well, thank you, Nora. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you all are doing well. Nora, I love your background. That was super cool. Um, so as Nora said, uh, really excited to be here. I'm going to talk a little bit about traveling to Europe. I know that if you're like me, um, you've, <laughs> you've just been itching to travel. I cannot wait to travel. My wife and I, we're so excited to travel here soon in 2022. We've been waiting so long and it's, and it's an exciting time. The world is opening up again. Um, and what's exciting is that we can travel again, but we can start traveling safely. I think we can do both at the same time. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about some of those really nice ways to travel, more specifically how a small group travel or customized family groups really is one of the best ways you can travel to Europe, not just right now, but also 2022, 2023, and beyond. So really with that, that means traveling via guided tours. So what we'll really talk about today is really keep it short, talk about three things. Number one, talk a little bit about why a guided tour in 2022 and beyond. Of course, you still have a couple months this year if you wanna go on a guided tour, that's definitely okay. Um, but we'll really focus on next year because that is gonna be such a big year for everybody as we begin the travel once again. And then we'll talk a little bit about more about Inside Vacations. Now Inside Vacations, in short, we're an upper premium guided tour company specializing really in giving you, our guests, an authentic immersive travel experience. So we'll talk about why guided tours is such a great way to travel, especially here as we resume travel in 2022. And then we'll kind of dive into what makes Insight Vacations unique and how Insight Vacations can really provide you uh, just an amazing, authentic uh, guided tour experience. So we'll kind of get into those details a little bit there. And then number three, of course, the fun one, we'll talk about popular trips you can go on. And what I actually have is I'm gonna go through about four or five different trips very briefly. Uh, and we'll just, and those are actually five of our more uh, more popular ones, the ones that are trending quite a bit here for 2022 and 2023. So we'll kind of run you through that. So hopefully that can kind of give you an idea of some of the places you can go. Maybe you're looking for travel. Maybe you're looking to go somewhere here in 2022. Maybe you're just kind of kicking tires a little bit, just trying to see where you might want to go. We'll talk about some of those different areas you can travel to, and hopefully that can kind of inspire uh, some ideas as you plan your next trip. So again, um, we'll probably keep this around 30 minutes or so, maybe a little bit less. We want to be respectful of everybody's time and kind of go from there. So just so you know who the person is in your screen, as Nora said, my name is Dan Peeler. Uh, I, they call me the strategic account manager here at Insight Vacations. I currently uh, call Madison, Wisconsin home uh, and have been with Insight for a little over three years now. So why guided tours? Why guided tours as we go post-pandemic in 2022, as we travel post-pandemic in 2022? Now, one of the things that we're starting to see in the travel industry is we're seeing a large migration from uh, booking your own travel to booking not just with the travel agent, but also booking in a style where everything or most of everything is included. A great way to travel in 22 is through guided tour for really the reasons you see on your screen here. Everything is included for the most part, and you don't have to worry about anything as you travel. Now, with how travel is these days, if you want to go to Europe, there's so many different protocols, there's so many different restrictions, and you know we all hope those definitely ease over time as we go into 2022, but who knows, right? We're not sure at this point. So guided tours, the nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about a thing. You actually have a travel director with you. You're traveling in a group. You're really in capable hands. So a couple of the things on your screen you can see, number one, guided tours provide such a good value. It really does. You're not booking everything yourself. Everything is included from the hotels, the meals, the travel, the coach. Everything is there for your travel pleasure. Everything is taken care of. Like I mentioned a moment ago, you do have a travel director that travels with you. They all speak the local language. They're going to tell you a little bit more about all the experiences you're going to see in depth, but they're also there to make sure that everywhere you go, you're safe the whole time. That's a big one too, especially as we travel here in 2022. COVID's still around, right? Hopefully it goes away someday. That would be great, but we don't know. Maybe it'll still be around in 2022. And it's so nice to have someone there that knows the protocols 
and you don't have to worry about anything. They know what to do to make sure you're safe the whole time. Another reason, easy access. You get to see iconic and local experiences. And of course, when you're on a guided tour, oftentimes you're traveling with some new people you don't know. So you do make some great friends along the way, or like we say, in unexpected places. Let's dive into Insight a little bit. Insight Vacations. At Insight Vacations, I like to say, we provide all the insights and the sites up close and personal in comfort and in style. That's really what we want to provide. Again, we're an upper premium guided tour company. And we like to say there's five reasons guests choose Insight or five reasons guests typically go Insight. Number one are the experiences. We'll talk a little bit more about each of these. Delicious authentic dining is number two. That's probably my personal favorite. Number three, travel and stay in style. Number four, small group camaraderie. Number five, seamless and stress-free travel. What does that mean exactly? So again, guided tours, these are all included. Every single day of your guided tour, we're gonna have something great called an insight experience. And really what this is, is this is a very authentic, immersive experience. Now, uh, instead of just going to a place and taking a picture saying you were there, we get you inside that destination. So for example, if we're going to Italy, say we're gonna to go to the Rome, we go to the Vatican City, one of the things we get is we actually get you VIP access to go up the Bermonte staircase. So you can actually walk where the Pope walks. An amazing experience that's just exclusive to Insight. That's an example of an Insight experience. Oh, delicious authentic dining. Uh, Nora, we talked last week. This is one of my favorite ones. I love, I consider myself a foodie. My wife and I, we love trying different kinds of food in different cultures. Dining is a big part of who we are at Insight Vacations. We feel there's no better way to immerse yourself in a destination than trying the local delicacies trying a local cuisine and every single day we're going to have a very special dining experience now it's not just eating at a really nice restaurant or anything like that we're gonna have dining experiences like farm to table dining which is really the whole zero kilometer philosophy where we source in local ingredients and you get to try a really nice farm fresh local meal we also do different activities different experiences like you dine in a local's home oftentimes we'll partner up with some people on the ground and they'll invite you in their home they'll do like a demonstration a cooking demonstration and you get to have fresh food from that area. There's so many just different ways that we provide these really exclusive dining experiences. And those are gonna be available every day of your trip. So guided tours, a lot of times guided tours, I think have a little bit of a bad stigma. You think about a about hundred people crammed in on a bus all the time. That's not the case with Insight. One of the things that makes Insight an upper premium product is that we have at the bottom of there of your picture, a nice, beautiful, customized, luxurious motor coach. So our motor coaches, they fit 40 people max. That means double leg room, extra space. It's very comfortable, very relaxing. Um, you can't see because we're on Zoom, but I'm six foot six, so I don't fit on buses. I don't fit on planes. I don't fit in my own car, but I fit very comfortably in the luxury motor coach. That's a picture of me in Italy uh, back in 2019. Plenty of leg room, very comfortable every step of the way. So the motor coach, that's how we travel from different destination to destination. And we make sure they're comfortable every step of the way. Now, this is my colleague, Sarah. She is not six foot six. She's about five foot one. So this also just puts the perspective that yes, even if you're a shorter person, you can also fit very well in a luxury motor coach as well. The seats do go back and forth, up and down. No matter what size you are, height wise, anything, we're gonna fit very well in the luxury motor coach. And that's a big difference maker when you're going through these beautiful towns, these beautiful landscapes, when you're going, uh, say we're in Ireland, we're going through the Dingle Peninsula and you're seeing all those beautiful views. Uh, it's really nice to just sit back, relax. You have the large windows and you just take in all the beautiful sights as you're traveling down the coast. The luxury motor coaches make a huge difference. Staying in style. Now, another part with inside vacations is we'll always stay at the nicest hotels. We'll always stay at four, four and a half, five-star hotels. That's a big part about who Insight Vacations is. We never want to go, uh, we never want to stay 30 miles from the city center at a Super 8 hotel. We're, never, we're not going to do that. Where we want to stay is we want to stay at the nicest places possible. For example, Ashford Castle in Kong, Ireland. This actually won Hotel of the Year back in 2017. It is a beautiful, beautiful hotel. Um, this is actually on one of our tours called Irish Elegance. People book the tour just to stay at this hotel. It's that great. Um, but there's so many activities there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful hotel we stay at. Another one is the Glacier View Lodge. This is actually a Jasper National Park. This is my bucket list. I can't wait. I would love to go here someday. I hope I can do that soon, but I can't imagine 
uh, waking up in the morning, having a fresh cup of coffee, looking outside of that beautiful view of the glaciers there at Jasper National Park in Alberta. I think that'd be absolutely beautiful. It's just stunning. But those are the types of hotels that you'll stay at on your Inside Vacations trip. Now, another great, I would say, uh, feature with Inside Vacations is the smaller groups. Now, I mentioned earlier, sometimes I think guided tours have a little bit of a bad stigma. You'd pack in a lot of people into a small bus. That's not the case at Inside Vacations. Again, we have the nice customized luxury motor coach, but we also have small groups. So with Inside Vacations, you have a couple options. You have your classic group size, which is a max of 40 people. Usually the average is about 32 people on a tour, but typically uh, 40 will be that max all the time. We also have small groups. Now with small groups, the max is 24 guests. We like to call them classroom size. My wife's a second grade teacher. Uh, I like to refer to that as classroom size, 24 people. Um, but those small group options, that's new to Insight for this year and for 2022. And we're seeing those small group options is very, very popular. So if you want to travel a little bit of a smaller group than 40, those small group tours are a really, really good option as well. We also have the ability to do small private tours. So really what this is, um, if you talk to your travel agent at Travel Leaders and you say, hey, I have some family and friends. We have not traveled for two or three years. We are ready to travel again, but we just want to do a small private group. You can look at any one of our itineraries and you can book into that group with your friends and family. We can kind of create that own little travel bubble for you. Um, that is an option we have as well. Now, the travel director. This is the last big part of Inside Vacations. I mentioned earlier when we talk about why guided tours are such a great option, uh, the travel director makes a really big difference. They're there every step of the way. They're there to make sure everything goes to plan. We're following protocols. We're safe the whole time. They'll never put you in harm's way. Um, I swear they never sleep. Now, what, one story that I really like to share about our travel directors is on my very first Inside Vacations tour um, back in Italy, actually, where that one picture was with me on the coach, um, we were in Northern Italy. And one of the big activities that day was we were going to go sailing on Lake Como. Now, we woke up that morning. We thought it was going to be sunny. That was forecasted. All of a sudden, rain, thunderstorms, all of that. There's no way we could go sailing. So what are we going to do that day? Well, we had breakfast. We had our coffee. All is good. Then after breakfast, the travel director brings us all over. They say, hey, group, come on over here. We're going to talk about some of our plans for the day. And she mentions that, hey, you know what? Obviously, we're not going to go sailing. It's not safe. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to head north, and we're going to go up to Lugano, Switzerland. And we're going to go on a walking tour of Lugano and try some fresh chocolate. And the group was so excited about that. They loved that. This was just an Italy program, an Italy itinerary. But we had to go up to Lugano, Switzerland, where it's bright, sunny, and beautiful. Go on a city tour with the local experts. Try some chocolate from the shops. Um, it just made our day. But I share that story for, for a reason because it shows that when you travel, Oftentimes, things don't typically go as planned, but with a guided tour, even if things don't, whether it's weather, et cetera, the travel director is there to help pivot and make that day amazing, no matter what. They have the ability to do different activities like that and bring the group with them. I think that's such a great story. It's absolutely incredible. So those are really the big reasons, typically, we like to say guest choose insight. Why insight is really a nice option here, especially traveling post-pandemic. Now, I will say, too, Along with the travel director in 2022, we're also going to have a uh, person on our departures called a well-being director. And I really like this. What the well-being director is there to do, they're there really to provide peace of mind, help out if something goes awry. And they're just there to make sure that all of our suppliers on the ground, whether it's the hotels, the inside experiences we provide, that they're also a they're following our regulations, our protocols that we have set in place. It's a really nice thing to have there for peace of mind. So again, when you're on a when you're on a, a, a inside vacation tour, you're going to have the travel director, you're going to have the coach driver, and then you're going to have the well-being director. You're not alone. You're with somebody. You don't have to worry about a single thing. You have a team there from inside vacations that help you every step of the way. And as we travel in 22, with all the different protocols and regulations, it's really nice to have those people with you when you're traveling. So that's a big feature with inside vacations. Okay. I think we talked enough about guided tours, why we think guided tours is such a great option for next year. We talked about Insight. Let's talk about where we can travel to, right? This is the exciting part. So your Insight Vacations, we really specialize in Europe and then also 
North America. Now, Europe is really our flagship. We have over 96 different, des- different itineraries that go all over Europe. Popular countries, year over year, Italy, Ireland, Iceland, those are always going to be some of the most popular destinations uh, here in the Midwest. Oftentimes, we see Germany, Poland are very popular as well. And what we're also seeing, which is kind of interesting for 2022, is that apparently during the pandemic, everybody came around and decided that the next place they really want to travel to is Portugal. Portugal is extremely popular for 2022 and 2023. I think there's a variety of reasons for that. I think Portugal and Spain were starting to become more popular in 2018 and 2019 in terms of what we're seeing on our booking trends, but we're seeing Portugal extremely high as one of the most popular countries people are looking to travel to. Um, I think the high vaccination rates has something to do with it there in Portugal and Spain, but either way, that's also a great destination to go to as well. You also see on this picture, we do go to a few other spots outside of Europe. We also go to Egypt, Russia. Those are popular destinations as well. Now, in terms of North America, where do we travel to? Uh, A great way to remember where we travel in North America is we go everywhere but the Midwest. So unfortunately, we have nothing going through uh, Madison, Wisconsin, where I'm based, or the Twin Cities. Um, But we have some wonderful, wonderful destinations out west we have a lot of national parks tours if you're into that we have a lot of programs that go out east like the fall foliage year over year alaska is very popular hawaii is hawaii is very popular so those are some really great destinations that you can travel to now what we're seeing is that we are seeing that some people hey 2022 we we don't know what covid is going to look like but you know people don't really want to go to europe yet they're just not that comfortable that's okay again we offer all sorts of great destinations here domestically as well as some of the nicest places you can travel to, which is great and very exciting. So let's walk through some of those exciting itineraries that we have. So uh, I'm gonna go through about four of the more popular itineraries we're seeing for 2022, and just briefly talk a little bit about each one. First one is a beautiful, beautiful itinerary called Easy Pace Italy. I love this program. So what this is, this is 10 days long, And really simply, this is three nights in three different locations. So if you've ever traveled to Italy or you're just dying to travel to Italy, this is a really, really good Italy tour for you to consider. We're going to start in Rome. We're going to start in the Vatican City. We're going to have two days of guided tours the first two days. And then on the third day, you're actually going to have that day at leisure. So you can relax, take in all the sights, walk to some shops, get some coffee in the morning. That day is you're at leisure on the third day. Then... We're going to go up to Florence, and we're going to spend three nights in Florence, a beautiful, beautiful city. I think it's one of the more underrated cities in Italy, by the way. That's my personal opinion. We're also going to stop. We're going to go a little bit west and stop at Pisa. Of course, we're going to see the Leaning Tower, all that good stuff. And then we're going to head up to Verona and spend three nights in Venice. Venice is my favorite city in Europe. It is absolutely beautiful. There's just nothing like it. It's, it's, It's a different it's a different feel. It's very vibrant. It's very welcoming. It's very warm. And it's just an absolutely beautiful place to go to between the canals, the gondola rides. It's absolutely incredible. We're going to spend three days there as well. Uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous city. So that's easy pace Italy. I love this one. Uh, short and sweet, 10 days long. And you get to see some of the most iconic cities in Italy. One of the things I want to share on this trip too, this is one experience that we have. I love this. This is pasta making with Nana. So we talked about those dining experiences earlier. One of the great dining experiences that we have on this is you're going to go to a local's home. Her name is Nana. You can see there on her, on your screen. She's about four foot 10. She doesn't know how to frown. She's absolutely incredible. Very charismatic. And she's going to invite the whole group into her home. And you're going to try to make fresh pasta and pesto with Nana. It's absolutely amazing. Um, One of my favorite experiences that I've ever done. Uh, Again, being from Wisconsin, I'm more of a cheese guy, bratwurst kind of guy, but I have more pasta in that evening with Nana than I've ever had in my whole life. It was absolutely incredible. That's one of those types of special dining experiences that we provide with Insight. Another really popular dinner we have too is Country Roads of Croatia. I love this one. I've never been to Croatia personally. I have a lot of colleagues who have. They say it's one of the most underrated, just um, just kind of one of those one of those gems that people don't really talk about when they're talking about traveling to Europe. But Croatia is absolutely beautiful. Uh, This one we call Country Roads because it's a little bit off the beaten path. Now you're still going to go in some of those really nice cities, um, some of those more popular cities, but you're also going to see a lot of those smaller towns. You're going to go to the islands like Havar, Stone, and places like that. It's just a really 
really incredible journey. Uh, Croatia is always uh, one of those destinations that seems the seems the people go to and they can't stop talking about when they come back. They just absolutely love it. One of the great experiences we have for seat uh, for Croatia, country roads of Croatia, is the seat at table dining experiences. So what this is is basically you're gonna you and the group you're gonna hop on. Uh, a small boat, and you're going to meet up with Captain Tomislav, Captain Tom for short, and he's going to actually send you out to his fresh oysters. And you're going to have hand-picked oysters from the water with a glass of wine. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, you also some olive oil as well. It's just an amazing experience. I've heard that this is just one of the best experiences you can have when you're in Croatia. It's just very, very amazing. Another country that's very popular, I mentioned the three eyes earlier, Italy, Ireland, Iceland. Iceland year over year is one of those destinations that's so popular. One, because it's relatively easier to travel to. You'd think there's not a lot of jet lag. Two, it's just a beautiful, beautiful country. It's one of my personal favorites. I actually have my honeymoon here with my wife. Uh, and what we do with Inside Vacations is we go around the Golden Circle. So you're going to start in Reykjavik. You'll go down to some of those, go down in some of those smaller towns like Vik, and then all the way around to the east, up north, and then end back in Reykjavik. <laughs> it's absolutely an amazing amazing journey. And you're going to see some of those great, great sites like the waterfalls, like Goldfoss, Goldfoss Waterfall, Skogafoss. That's why you go to Iceland. It's, it's really for the beauty, the natural beauty with the diamond sand beaches or the black sand beaches and the waterfalls. It's just an absolutely amazing country, the small little towns as well. Uh, I love it. Another big part of Iceland, of course, is the wildlife. Um, I've never seen so many pelicans in my life. I thought that was one of the coolest things just absolutely amazing. And then we also stop at some of those lagoons as well. We'll, of course, stop at the Blue Lagoon. That's going to be one of the more popular spots um, in Iceland. You yeah, think of Iceland, oftentimes you think of the Blue Lagoon. But what we'll also do is we'll go to some of the other hot springs as well around the Golden Circle. Some of the smaller ones, some of the ones that are a little bit less known, um, which are amazing in themselves. Another one is France. France, year over year, is always a popular destination. I love France. It's just one of my favorite countries I've ever been to. Uh, this is a great itinerary. You're going to see some of the, this is kind of one of those itineraries where you're going to see everything you want to see in about a week, in eight days to be exact in France. You're going to see all the main cities. You're going to, of course, be in Paris and see the Eiffel Tower. But you're going to see some other great sites as well. One of the things that really, I, I think, was one of the more interesting activities on this journey is that you're going to stop at the Normandy Landing Beaches. You're going to see Omaha Beach, Point du Hoc. Um, I like World War II history a lot. That's something that's appealing to me. Um, and that's just one of the more uh, humbling sites I've ever seen in my life. It's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. So this is a great journey as well. That's one of, oh gosh, I love that picture. Who wouldn't want to be in France right now, right? Just absolutely amazing. We'll take you there with insight. So those are four of the more popular itineraries we're seeing right now. How do you experience insight with differently? Or how do you experience Europe differently with insight? Uh, again, we like to say five things. Number one is the unique insight experiences, the smaller groups, the hotels, the coach with extra leg room. That's a big one. And then, of course, authentic dining. Every day you're going to have one of those great dining experiences, which is absolutely incredible. I don't have to tell all of you this because I'm sure you go through your travel agent and add travel leaders, but we at Insight Vacations are a big believer in the value that a travel agent brings. Uh, I have... I know too many friends, too many family that have lost money uh, during the pandemic because they didn't book through their travel agent. Please, 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 no matter what you do, when you're booking your next vacation, whether it's through Inside Vacations or anyone else, make sure you go through travel leaders, your travel agent. They bring such value. You'll get the best prices. You'll get all the knowledge and experience that they have. They're absolutely incredible. I love working with Dora and her staff. They're just absolutely top notch and best in the industry. So we definitely believe in the value the travel agent provides make sure you book through them on your next dream vacation. So a lot of information there. Again, we think guided tours are such a great way to travel here post pandemic. Um, you don't need to worry about anything. You have the staff there from Insight to be with you the whole time, especially with all the protocols and regulations that are in place. You're gonna see some amazing sites and it's just such a wonderful way to travel as we resume travel in 2022 and beyond. So that being said, Thank you so much for your time today. Uh, Nora, I think I'll hand it back to you for any questions that come through. Thank you, thank you, Dan, great presentation. You know, when I think about Europe for next year, there's, there's some unknowns, right? Um, we haven't traveled recently. So working with Insight and a guided vacation 
makes so much sense to me right now. Having someone there throughout, um, I don't know, it gives me a lot of peace of mind and, and I hope it does for you too. If anyone has any questions or wanna talk about any particular destinations, feel free to put your questions in the chat. I am going to um, be available by email as well. So I'll be sending you an email with a copy of this recording in case you wanna share it with family or friends, um, or you can view it on our um, Facebook page as well.